Hello, this is Aaron with AnetComputers.com. Hola, bueno, este es Ron con AnetComputers.com. Otro video para ti hoy, another video for you today. I filed this one under PC Hardware Installation. Echo Audio, how to get sound in Ubuntu with Echo Audio Layla 20. You're running Ubuntu Studio 10.04 on a Dell 8200. Your problem is with your Echo Audio Layla 20 audio card. It seems totally undetected. And if you have a newer version of Ubuntu, I think this video and blog post will still suffice. If you run LSHW in a terminal, it is not mentioned by name, just unclaimed multimedia. Your Linux knowledge is small and you just moved over from Windows XP. Ideally, you are looking for a script that you can run to do a whole setup in case you have to reinstall an operating system again. You have spent ages going through forums, but you don't know Linux. MS-DOS is okay in general PC knowledge. Please verify what version of ALSA sound driver you have installed on your Ubuntu Studio 10.04 or newer distribution. Type this command cat space slash proc slash a sound slash version into a terminal window and output should look similar to advanced Linux sound architecture driver version 1.0.21. If you have version 1.0.23 then you don't need to upgrade your version of ALSA. If it is 1.022 or below, you should upgrade it. Upgrading to 1.0.23 and then rebooting your computer might fix your issue. Here's instructions on running an ALSA upgrade script. Download ALSA upgrade script and save it. You will need to create an account on UbuntuForums.org in order to access that script. CD and then you can copy and paste these commands if you browse to my blog post on internetcomputers.com tar xvf also upgrade tar file and then you sudo sudo again sudo a third time sudo shutdown minus r o after reboot you can type cat space slash proc a sound version this will let you know if you're running new version make sure that all your channels are unmuted and volume is up type in a terminal a play space minus l if you still have no sound then type in a terminal same command a play space minus l then type a following command to see if your sound card was detected cat space slash proc a sound cards slash cards if you see your sound card you're almost finished to test your sound card type for example where x is your sound card a play space dash minus capital D P L U G H W colon and then X is your sound card comma O space minus F C D space slash and then your music directory replace this with your sound file dot wave so you're gonna enter that music directory where you have a test file and then replace this with your sound file dot wave or mp3 or whatever sound file so you're gonna run that command on a test sound file or for example speaker dash test space minus capital D P L U G H W colon and then X is your sound card comma O space minus C two replace an X with an index of your sound card index that's kind of redundant there which you find out by typing a play minus l space minus l and look for your sound card which would be x you can test a multi-channel sound card a following way type a play space minus capital l to find out about your pcm device ie surround 51 that's just an example that is an upper case l speaker dash test space minus capital d and then surround 51 or your device you replace surround 51 with your device space minus c6 note if a channel mapping should be wrong you need to adjust it in your dot a sound rc file which will be in your home folder your user folder on linux just look for that folder or excuse me look for that file well, it could well and on Linux files or folders. Just look for a .a sound rc. If you're having troubles trying to find it, 
Google it and then try to find out where it's located on your Linux distribution. Check if your also mixer channels are activated and unmuted in no mixer, then volume control, then preferences. Very often there are headphone jack, SPDIF, or microphone issues reported. Usually this has something to do with wrong also mixer settings or more seldom with a wrong model ID assigned to your sound driver in slash etsy slash modprobe.d slash also dash base dot conf that's a configuration file if you're lacking certain controls in also mixer or your driver is not even being loaded you should check out your model id in attached hd dash audio dash models dot text file i strongly recommend you try similar model ids matching your codec to check out if your faulty function gets working edit your also dash base dot conf file sudo gedit and then slash at etsy mod probe dot d slash also dash base dot c o n f look for options space s n d dash h d a dash i n t e l space i n d e x equals minus two look up your model in h d dash audio dash models dot text and change entry accordingly so you want to enter in your correct model type and that's located in that text file. Options SND dash HDA dash INTEL space index equals minus two model equals and then the model. Remember up here, just for an example, it was the surround 51. Then you would enter that down here where it says model. right here where all the X's are you, then you would equals then sound 51 or your model of your sound card save exit and reboot your computer if it seems to have found your sound card in a sound mixer panel go to playback internal audio analog stereo pulse audio mixer add a master control to that panel and then unmute it test to see if you have audio also if you still have no sound try starting pulse audio by typing that should be a well that's a dollar sign that's just at a prompt Pulse audio. One word. Test to see if you have sound now. If you do, then pulse audio is not configured to start on boot up. Another thing to try is to adjust also mixer volume. Type also mixer. That's one word. Check if it says MM in caps. Both M's are uppercase. Under any of some playback devices such as master speaker, etc. MM means a left plus right stereo channels are muted. You can toggle muting on or off by pressing an M key. Use arrow keys to navigate and change it to OO. Also, if it's if still no sound, you can try removing and reinstalling Pulse Audio. And then here's some commands on how to on Ubuntu. This is this blog post is specific for Ubuntu. This might be pertinent for other distributions of Linux, but the commands might not be the exact same. And then sudo, if you're not root, apt dash get space remove space minus purge space also dash base. Next command is the same remove and then minus purge space pulse audio. And then get clean two ampersands sudo apt dash get auto remove apt dash get install also base and then apt get install pulse audio so you're just removing also base removing pulse audio and then also doing an auto remove so that it will clean any other packages that also base and pulse audio use then you're just reinstalling and it, and it will it reinstall any dependencies if your system has two audio devices, you may need to disable your onboard audio device in your BIOS. Ubuntu should find both devices, but it might be worth disabling your onboard audio to get your Echo Audio card working. It looks as if card 1 is your onboard audio and card 0 would be your Echo Audio card. This is just an example. Card 1 is a what I8201 etc Intel as you can see the device zero Intel sub device is one of one sub device and then please run 
a play space minus capital L that is a capital L which will search for a multi channel sound card using a play with a lowercase l looks for single channel cards to install also mixer if it is not already installed run apt dash get install also mixer I know this was a lengthy post but and I will include a description in this YouTube video description a link to my website on anetcomputers.com to this specific blog post so that you can read this on your own time and you can copy and paste any of these commands and if you have problems with any of them highly recommend Google if you're not using Ubuntu distribution or maybe you're using a newer distribution of Ubuntu or you're just you're kind of a novice or you're new to using command line in Ubuntu but anyways, hopefully this information was productive, and now you are able to get sound working on your Echo Audio Layla 20 on Ubuntu 10, 11, 12. I would say even newer versions, distributions of Ubuntu. I think this information might be productive for you. You can always browse to anetcomputers.com for other possible potential tips, information, and tricks to help you get your most common computer problems fixed, solved. Thank you for listening. Adios.